He's one of the greatest tennis players in history. He won Wimbledon at the ridiculous age of 17. Boris Beck has recently set up an online auction with 82 of his personal items up for grabs to help him clear his debts. And he's with us today. Boris Becker, how are you? Morning, thank you for Good to see you. Yes. Are the lols with you this morning, Boris? I hardly understood what you said. My English isn't good enough. Don't worry, I'm English. What, 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 oh, what I'm not, actually. Yeah. But I was born in England. I don't yeah. understand her either. Couldn't understand <laughs> a word of it. Um, how are you? I am a lot better than yeah. uh, in two years ago. We've been reading all this stuff yeah. about you. Yeah. What's the truth? How are things with your life? Well, let me start with the auction. Now, yeah. now you know, the trustee doing his job. You know, I'm working closely with him to clear all my proven creditors. Uh, uh, we actually made a bit to buy back my most important trophies last week. I have a strong um, feeling that these uh, trophies will not go to strangers, that mm. they will be with some of my friends. Do you feel sad about having to give them away? Look, it's, it's been a, a, a roller coaster ride the last two years. I didn't think, if you had asked me 24 months ago, that uh, you know, things like this happen. Mm. But uh, you know, I feel like I've, I'm a different man today than, mm. than I was. I've done a few mistakes in the past, but I'm not too old to correct them. As I said, I don't want to run out the clock in this uh, mm. bankruptcy. You can. I want to uh, pay back what, what I owe to prove and credit us, but that's the point. Mm. And I think I'm, I'm very close to it. Good for you. Well, look, let's turn to more positive things. Yeah. Wimbledon. Andy Murray had a great win yeah. this week. Is, mm. is there any chance that he could spring a surprise on us at Wimbledon? Or? Well, I mean, the last time I was on the show, I was hoping that he would eventually come back to Wimbledon Centre mm -hmm. Court because the, the toughest thing for an athlete is always retire because of an injury. Now, age You had your doubts, didn't you? I had my doubts, but I felt like that he you know, should give himself a chance because mm -hmm. he has the rest of his life to, to you know, recover from all that. He's playing, he played doubles with Feli Lopez mm -hmm. in Queens. Uh, uh, he's playing uh, doubles with a French guy called Herbert Wimbledon. I'm sure they're going to put him on Centre Court. And I heard rumbles that he actually thinks about playing singles at the US Open. Giving, giving that the next weeks and the next, you know, two months will, it, will go well. So there's no, t he can't play singles at Wimbledon. That's done. Right? I, I think that's done. I think. So the next be... thing he could play singles at is the U.S. Open. That's is correct. It? Yeah. Right. Which would be an amazing comeback, given I'm, that everyone assumed he'd retire. I mean, when we, you know, discussed six months ago yeah. about his retirement in the Australian Open, you know, when you heard his press conference, it sounded final. And, and he, he, you know, he, was, he was crying at the press conference. Yeah. So I was happy that he did have the surgery, that the recovery went well. Yeah. And now he's, he's playing tennis again. Yeah. Uh, yesterday on the show, we had cricket legends and cricket commentator Geoffrey Boycott give us her, his trenchant opinion on Brexit. Yeah. Okay. And we were accused of not providing any balance. Yeah. I'm not sure what your opinion right now is yeah. on Brexit, but as a tennis legend and tennis commentator, would you like to offer us a oh. trenchant opinion on Brexit? We haven't Brexit? got long, Boris. You've got to make it a quick verdict. Yeah, a quick one is get on with it. Yeah. Whatever you're going to do, <laughs> make a final decision on October the 31st, with or without a deal. Enough said. All the experts have divided opinion. I live in this country. I'm a foreigner. I care a lot about it. Mm. But it's no good in debating it over and over again.